Tesla is showcasing a fresh video of its Tesla bots in a chassis that appears to be ready for manufacturing. It appears that the robots are also capable of other tasks like picking up objects and object recognition. A humanoid robot called Tesla's bot was first unveiled at the company's AI Day event in 2017. Tesla was only able to display a disassembled version of the robot at the moment, and even then, it was hardly able to move forward or carry out any physical labor on stage. A version that was supposed to be closer to a production model was displayed, but it could only wave at the audience because it was supported on a stand. Tesla's demonstrating autonomous, if rather sluggish, robots that resemble that model more now. Definitely, you all must be wondering why. What are the new features of the new Tesla bot? What big change will it introduce to the world? In today's video, we will figure out every new detail about the new Tesla bot. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon so you will never miss an update. Let's start the video. The bot manages the rest totally on its own. The Tesla team claims Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, and Tesla engineers discussed the use of the same kind of identifying technologies during Tesla's AI events. The company's vehicles utilize Optimus's entire self-driving software. This indicates that the bot uses its cameras to gather visual information, feeds it to its internal neural network, and then applies what it has learned to the task at hand. In other words, the bot picks up new information and stores it for subsequent application. Welcome to Tesla Global. In the video, we can see researchers toying with the bot by moving bricks around, all without being connected to a wider network while it is attempting to grasp them and moving already sorted blocks. You can program a more traditional robot to do those things, ensuring that they are upright. But it won't adapt in the way that we see here which is the strength of this kind of system. The main drawback, of course, is that before a bot's network becomes as proficient at a task, at least that is what is intended, there must be some sort of training process. Considering that all we currently know about the neural network is that it functions very similarly to the FSD network that controls Tesla's vehicles. Sorting items is one of the activities that Tesla is hoping its robot will be able to perform for people. But this short test is surprisingly dull. This accomplishment serves as a better proof of concept than other flashier tests, but it also shows that the bot is prepared to be trusted for this type of task, and perhaps even more difficult ones as well, because it can learn from its mistakes and not be perturbed by environmental changes. The Tesla bot performs some yoga positions and balances on one foot, to close the film. It's reasonable to assume that creating a robot capable of walking and moving around physically was the easiest aspect of the process. As we previously stated, this year's improvements for Optimus have been very positive, although the Tesla bot's AI Day presentation in September was a little shaky. Witnessing it walk, balance, and explore workspaces while performing simple tasks helped to boost trust in the project. We eagerly await hearing more information regarding the neural network from Tesla. If their bot violates the three laws, they must at the very least alert us. Finally, we have some reliable information about when the Cybertruck will start making deliveries and it will happen very soon. On September 14th, a video was uploaded to YouTube by user Dirty Ruts depicting his experience at the Hollister Hills, California off-road testing track. Fortunately for us, he came upon a pair of cyber trucks while he was out, and about, that were designated as release candidates. Apart from demonstrating the air suspension of the cyber truck's lift capabilities, the drivers chatted animatedly. The first delivery of the vehicle, according to the drivers, should occur in October. Any news regarding the cyber truck should now excite us all. Most of what we currently know had to be pieced together from numerous rumors before we received any type of confirmation, but the report does originate from a Tesla employee 
who is trusted enough to drive a cyber truck release candidate from Texas to California without one of those new security escorts. The credibility is therefore quite high, but fortunately, we have further supporting evidence. Joe TM, a well-known drone pilot and Tesla watcher, produced a video on September 25th, barely 11 days after the Muddy Ruts video, in which he discussed a few developments for Giga Texas. He notes that after being primarily absent for the previous three weeks, workers were starting to return to the site. Joe claimed that a brief production stoppage was necessary to calibrate the Cybertruck assembly lines. Sightings of what the Tesla team refers to as master candidates corroborate Joe's claim. The truck's pre-production models are regarded as the final design that will probably go into actual production, something that is corroborated by reports that reservation holders are independently noticing changes in the online studio. Together, these facts have a fragile foundation. They give us some solid evidence that the Cybertruck's true production ramp-up began in October. Okay, so we know that Tesla will begin shipping the first Cybertrucks in October. However, we also know that the company has received over 2 million pre-orders for the products. How quickly can they expect to catch up with such numbers? Well, on September 19th, a hiring binge is a wonderful place to start. Tesla's director of manufacturing made a rare visit to Giga Texas at the State of Manufacturing Conference, an expo held in Austin. Jason Shan provided some information about the company's intentions for the site in his keynote address. Shahan described how Giga Texas had grown from having just over 12,000 people at the end of 2022 up to today's number of about 20,000, but the facility is still expanding. According to Shahan, Tesla plans to triple its existing workforce to 60,000 people by the time the ramp-up for the manufacture of the Cybertruck is complete, which should happen within the next two years or so if CEO Elon Musk's predictions prove to be right, which is always a big deal. Shahan directly tied the 60,000 figure to the ramping of manufacturing for the Cybertruck. We can likely infer that the majority of those new employees will be working on that project or at the very least on areas that will have an impact on that production. This aligns very nicely with what Elon stated during the investor call back in April when asked about the Cybertruck production. Musk responded that he thought the ramp-up would be very strong during 2024 and that the company would be producing the truck in large quantities. However, when Elon was pressed for specific production figures, Musk responded that the ramp-up would be moving as quickly as the supply chain's slowest components. It's difficult to say what that would be in the case of the Cybertruck. Many of its parts are exceptional, even by Tesla standards, but the 4,680 battery cell that the rumored Cybertruck would operate on is probably going to be the production bottleneck. This year, Tesla made significant improvements to its infrastructure for producing batteries, including beginning work on their lithium refinery in Corpus Christi, Texas. But it seems sensible that they still want assistance from battery manufacturers like KTL and Panasonic to support their figures. Other than that, the Cybertruck will encounter any delays there, though we'll have to wait and watch. It won't be long until production numbers are made public, and the shareholder meeting in 2024 will, at the very least, be jam-packed with factual information up to that point. It appears that some people will receive their cyber vehicles in time for the holidays. Just as we learned that October is the anticipated month for the first cyber truck delivery, Elon posted a single sentence. I just got to drive the performance cyber truck today. And I have to say, man, how can we not start making assumptions about that? It makes perfect sense that the Cybertruck would have a performance variant. All the other vehicles in their fleet had at least one performance model when they officially debuted the car in October, and these models typically came with better batteries. We are unable to comment much on the battery situation with the Cybertruck due to the updated trim cosmetic elements and additional motors. We have a lot to say regarding the possibility 
of more motors. With options ranging from one motor, Elon and Tesla have remarked a few times on suggested motor options for their prototype pickup truck up to four, one for each wheel. Though a four-motor variant hasn't exactly been the subject of recent news, it's therefore advised to hold off on purchasing that version for the time being. We've heard rumors that the single motor type won't likely ship at first, which would appear to indicate that the dual motor version is the base model. Earlier this year, currently, this would further suggest that Elon was referring to the tri-motor option in his post from September 22nd. According to some prior figures on the Tesla website, the tri-motor all-wheel drive variant would have a staggering 500 miles of range and be able to tow 14,000 pounds, which unquestionably counts as performance. More to the point, the twin motor variant would have a range of roughly 300 miles. It only makes it reasonable that there will only be two variations of the new car when it debuts. The remarkable smoothness of the lead-up to the Cybertruck's introduction would seem to hint to the team preferring to delegate some tasks. As Tesla had a terrible time with pre-production before this year, by concentrating their efforts on a single or a small number of models, we should take care to keep in mind that pre-production is a time when a lot might happen. Even back in July, Tesla had probably already finalized the vehicle selections they wanted to provide a teaser from. Elon Musk contradicted several claims made by Tesla sources that they were only working on one version. This late indicates that a performance variant of the Cybertruck will appear sooner rather than later, even if it isn't one of the original offers. It existed as a functional prototype at least, so within the next few months we thought to have a better notion of what it is capable of. Thanks for watching, like and amp. Subscribe for more Tesla news from around the world.